heard you want to be big. I heard you want to be what? Massive. Cut. Lean. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sweet. Hey, look, today I'm going to let y'all know what keeps me motivated in the gym. I'm just going to try to be a quick video for y'all because i got to hurry and go to work. I ain't trying to be late. Most definitely, the reason that I stay motivated, um, when I was growing up, man, the same story that you hear from everybody else. When I was growing up, obviously, I was fat as a child. I got picked on, you know, where, like, when we would go to the gymnasium and I would have to go change clothes, people was like, oh, look at his titties. Oh, look at fat ass. And, like, picked on me, bro. Like, that would make me cry, all that simple shit. So one day I was just like, you know what? Fuck this shit, bro. Like, I'm tired of getting picked on. You know, I'm not standing up for myself. I'm going to start trying to lose weight. So most definitely lost weight, you know, and this was in middle school. So, you know, everybody has that little fat childhood thing in middle school. So then I transitioned into high school and I was just really, really, really skinny. So I used to play with the weights and everything. Not really too serious about lifting, but I was just trying to get away from being fat. So I did that. So most definitely all you people that pick on fat people, fuck y'all. I hope y'all die. You guys are assholes. You're supposed to help them, bro. Fuck y'all. But, and another reason that I work out, people look up to me in the gym, man. Like, when I was growing up as a child, I used to look up to people in the gym, and it's crazy because now I'm stronger than them, and now they look up to me. So, that's that's kind of fucking crazy if you ask me, man. I'm like, you know, it's hot as shit. Sun's out. But, no, most definitely, yeah, and I record outside so y'all know, because the sun is like, oh, amazing. But most definitely, like these guys that I look up to in the gym, I'm stronger than them. They come up to me and compliment me. So I'm like, what? These motherfuckers complimenting me, bro? That's like, you can see the smile on my face right now, bro. That's just like unheard of. I mean, in high school, I looked up to people and now I'm stronger than them. So most definitely, like, I really appreciate every time I'm in the gym or if I'm out in public, people come up to me and they're like, yo, you are looking good, man. It, that, that's what keeps me motivated. I don't look up to these people on you know the internet and everything you know so most people that i look up to they're in my gym that they don't even know if i look up to them but i most definitely do that so once you start working out people are going to start complimenting you and it's not going to my fucking head because i still have a lot to work on but most definitely is it's really refreshing to know that i'm putting in this work for a reason so that's another big thing um another reason that motivates me like for example if i'm like it was always a dream of mine to hit 315 on bench press like ever since i was little there was guys like in my weightlifting class or in the gym they'd just be boom 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 just repping it out and i'd be like damn that's crazy one day i'm gonna hit that weight and now i'm doing five sets of five completely doing five sets of five with 315 so i've accomplished that goal of playing i mean like I can hit four or five on squats for reps. I mean, that was like, that was unheard of when I first started working out. I was like hitting 185, like thinking like, man, I'll never get to that weight. All you gotta do is keep training, man, and it's gonna most definitely come. Um, Another thing, when you're working out, you feel good, you look good. So if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, then you're gonna look good. I intertwine, inter damn, I can't even say it interchange the both of them together so if you feel good then you're gonna look good and if you look good you're gonna feel good so regardless when you stay working out it's gonna most definitely incorporate in the gym and outside of the gym you know you may only lose two pounds in a month but you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself man try to stay away from the scales just start taking pictures you'll start seeing that everything's coming in nice tight and compact because when you step on the scale every day is most definitely discouraging because you may gain a half a pound or only lose a half a pound so that's why i stay away from the scale only time i check my weight is just to refresh you guys memory and my memory about where i'm at where i'm either bulking or cutting um let's see other than that man i think that's that's really about it i just want to share with y'all what keeps me motivated because i know a lot of y'all have a hard time in the gym you know trying to stay motivated and everything it's just it'll come over time people are going to start noticing like the difference the change that your body is you know overcoming you know whether if it's a barrier or anything so most definitely just keep working out I, it, it really means a lot to me when people come up to me in the gym and they're like what's up mr bull sweet fitness or what's up sweet man you're looking fucking huge today i, I never would have thought in a million years where that people would have come up like walk up to me and be like damn you a big ass dude bro in my mind 
am I big? I'm, I feel a little big, but I'm not as big as I want to be. You know what I mean? And if you're a bodybuilder, weightlifter, whatever you want to call yourself, you're never going to feel like that. You're never going to be big enough, strong enough, any of that. You know, you're always against, competing against yourself. So it most definitely means the world to me when people come up to me and they're just like, Bro, you are huge. I saw you over there playing with 315. And I never take it to the head because there's always going to be people bigger than you, stronger than you, faster than you. So it's, it's always, you know, competition out there. And I just look at that as a way to get better. So most definitely. Oh, and another thing. What keeps me motivated is you moms. Keep coming to the gym. Because I'm looking at you. I'm scoping you out. Shh. Don't tell Kristen. I know you're going to see this video anyway, Kristen, but I'm looking at your moms. You got to pick the moms up, man. The moms like it. So most definitely, I try to make this a short video for you guys. Just want to let you know what keeps me motivated. Hope this helps you. Anytime you need advice in the gym, hit me up on Instagram. You got my number. I'm not putting my number up here. But hit me up on Snapchat, anything, man. I'm always here to help you guys. I most definitely love doing that. Don't forget, as always, tell your moms, tell your aunts, tell your baby sisters. As long as she over what? 18, you tell them about us.